Welcome to Extra Remix. We are here to enjoy some remixed game tunes and applaud the work of the artists who made them. While the majority of Extra Remix episodes are going to focus on individual artists, now and then I'm going to do an episode covering a particular site or competition or album. And the very first thing we have to talk about is the website that drew so many of these artists together. Let's talk about Overclocked Remix. Back in 1999, when DJ Pretzel was just getting into remixing game music, there wasn't really a community built around it, and what few sites existed tended to limit themselves to specific musical genres or source material, fracturing what little community there was. So DJP created Overclocked Remix as a subdomain of his 3D webcomic site, and invited anyone to submit remixes from any genre, covering music from any game. And thus, the first Overclocked Remix was posted. Now, 15 years later, the site hosts over 2,800 remixes submitted by over 900 different artists, and those numbers just keep getting bigger. There are remixes in almost every conceivable musical genre. Over 800 different game soundtracks have been covered. I am going to be playing a wide selection of tracks today, so get comfy. One of the tenets of Overclocked Remix's mission is to encourage artistic expression and development through fan arrangements. To that end, OCR maintains some guidelines and standards on both the production quality and the arrangement creativity of mixes that are posted to the site, and a regular panel of volunteer judges to evaluate each piece that gets submitted. Remixers are encouraged to not only pay tribute to the source material with their arrangements, but to also make it their own. The site has a variety of learning resources and feedback forums to help remixers develop their skill as musicians. And like I mentioned before, several of these guys have gone on to become accomplished professionals. One of the other core tenets of OCR as a nonprofit organization is to distribute great music free of charge. Every remix on the site is available for free, and several official BitTorrents have been created to make it easier to download the site's massive library. The site runs mostly on donations and merch sales, and all staff are volunteers. In addition to the thousands of great individual tracks posted to the site, the community has banded together on numerous occasions to create entire albums of music, often dedicated to a single game or series. The first of these was released in 2003, a Super Metroid album entitled Relics of the Chozo. Since then, the Overclocked Remix community has released over 40 albums, covering games from Final Fantasy VII to Chrono Trigger to Sonic the Hedgehog 1, 2, and 3, Pokémon, Donkey Kong Country 1, 2, 3, Mega Man, Kirby's Adventure, Deus Ex, it's a long list. You should probably just go download all of them.
OCR also hosts a selection of indie game soundtracks. In fact, Overclocked Remix recently announced the launch of Overclocked Records, a label focusing on original albums and game soundtracks by professionals and hobbyists alike. 80% of all profits go to the artists, and the rest helps to support OCR's costs. You can check out a sampler of the available music linked below. Of course, game music is the primary focus of Overclocked Remix, and it is OCR's mission to promote game music from the past and present, and to honor the composers who made it. Love for video game music fuels everything OCR does. It's what brought these people together. The site maintains a database of the game music composers responsible for the music being covered, as well as a selection of interviews. The site has received praise from numerous professional composers and game industry figures. In fact, this positive relationship with the industry has led to some fantastic opportunities. Upon hearing OCR's Street Fighter II album, Blood on the Asphalt, Capcom USA reached out to the musicians of OCR to handle the music for Super Street Fighter II Turbo HD Remix, which they did. Additionally, some professional composers have actually submitted remixes of their own to the site to show their appreciation. George the Fat Man Sanger was the first, creating a remix of his own music from The Seventh Guest. But many others followed, including Alexander Brandon, Grant Kirkhope, heck, David Wise and Robert Beeland contributed to that Donkey Kong Country 3 remix I played a couple minutes ago. My personal favorite, though? A beautiful arrangement of Terra's theme from Jeremy Soule of Elder Scrolls and Guild Wars fame. Let's see, what else? Oh yeah, OCR Now also has their first official live band in the form of Overclocked University. Made up of several members of the community and OCR staff, you might be able to catch these guys live anywhere OCR has a panel. Magfest is probably your best bet. You know, I may need to do an episode on these folks later. One more song! The Overclocked Remix staff and community have a lot more cool stuff in store, too. There are plenty more album projects in the works. OCR staff frequently run panels at cons like PAX and MAGFest, if you want to say hi. And Overclocked Remix recently released its first commercial album in collaboration with Capcom, For Everlasting Peace, 25 Years of Mega Man. And they've hinted that there could be other professional projects in store. And of course, there are plenty more totally free album projects coming out this year, too, including tributes to Super Mario 64 and Final Fantasy IX. It's not already obvious, I've got a lot of love for Overclocked Remix. It was the first online community I ever joined in my early days exploring the internet, and I still think of it as sort of my internet home. I have met a lot of great people through this site, and if you don't already, through this show, I hope you guys find yourself enjoying it as much as I do. Alright, that's enough fanboying about OCR. As always, I'm gonna close with a full-length track. This remix comes from one of OCR's more recent albums, Balance and Ruin, a massive five-disc collection of Final Fantasy VI remixes involving some of the best talent the site has to offer. Between the scope of the project and the level of execution, this album really shows how far Overclocked Remix has come in 15 years. I can't wait to see what's next. Thanks for watching, enjoy the music, and I'll see you again soon for more Extra Remix.